Hey, what is up, Internet? This is Nirupam from TQNet back with another video. So, if you have a OnePlus 3 or 3T, I have some really good news for you today. So, Jagrav Nair on XTA has successfully ported the Android Pie update for the OnePlus 3 and 3T. In fact, Android Pie ports are now available for OnePlus X, OnePlus 2, and OnePlus 5 and 5T. So, if you cannot wait for the official Android Pie update for your device, just go there on XTA and flash respective Android ports for your device. In this video, I'll be telling you how to flash Android Pie on your OnePlus 3 and 3T. What should you know before installing Android Pie on your OnePlus 3 and 3T and if it is really worth your time. So without any further ado, let's get started. So before we can install the Android Pie on our OnePlus 3 and 3T, we have to make sure that the bootloader on our device is unlocked and we have the TWRP recovery. I will leave the links for both of these in the description box below in case you want to know how to unlock the bootloader and how to install the custom recovery. So once you are done with that, I'll leave the link for the room and caps as well so you can download that. Make sure you make a complete backup of your device including all the internal storage because this method can wipe your internal storage and make sure your device is decrypted so i will also leave a link in the description box below in case you want to know how to decrypt your device keep all the downloaded files including the gaps in the root folder of your device once you are done with that you will need to boot into the twrp recovery so once you're inside the twrp recovery uh, and you haven't managed to decrypt your device you need to perform a complete wipe which would include wiping your internal storage as well so again make sure you have made the complete backup of your device i will be not doing that because i have already managed to install android pie on my oneplus 3 and 3d and i don't want to lose my internal storage data again so once you're done with that make sure you reboot again into the twrp recovery so once you are back in the twrp recovery now we will install the pixel experience custom rom and the gaps so go to install and locate where you have saved the pixel experience rom just go there and swipe to confirm flash so now once the rom has been successfully flashed we will now install the gaps similar to how we have installed the custom rom and once you are done with that, just simply hit reboot and wait for your device to taste Android Pie. Alright guys, I guess our device has successfully booted into Android Pie. Uh, so the first boot might take up to 5 minutes, but once you are inside, you will absolutely love Android Pie. So I have been using this ROM for about 48 hours now. and. Uh, Except NFC, uh, everything seems to work fine. So yes, uh, I have already enabled the dark mode and it also changes based on the wallpaper. So the camera is working just fine. I've also installed the Google camera mod. So I'll leave a link in the description box below again in case you want to use the Google camera mod on this ROM. And let's jump into settings and see what else we get there. So first of all, uh, clearly revamped settings menu. So the network is working just fine. I've been using both LTE and Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth works fine as well. I've connected to my Bluetooth headphones and earphones. The battery, however, is I would say decent, if not the best, and you will not get the correct battery stats. And the fingerprint scanner works flawlessly. So it's as fast as it was on Oxygen OS. Okay, so one thing I would like to mention here is that you do lose face unlock. So this ROM doesn't come with face unlock as against the Oxygen OS. And uh, you do get some interesting OnePlus gestures. So you can draw a circle to go to the camera or you can draw a V to toggle the flashlight. Okay, so one of my favorite features in this ROM is that I can customize what the alert slider will do so you can choose between all these options now this is one of the features i really wanted in oxygen os as well and i also managed to install the digital well-being feature of android pie 
so through digital well-being google wants us to use our phones optimally so that's why we get the whole graph in which it tells you how much time you have spent in each of the apps you also get an option to set timers for each app in case you want to limit your usage uh, another feature inside digital well-being is wind down so it puts your whole phone in grayscale and turns on the do not disturb mode so this comes in really handy if you want to go to sleep and you just can't put your smartphone away so apart from digital well-being we get our standard system settings so we can quickly confirm if this runs on android 9 pi so yes here is the easter egg and okay besides that uh, i really like that this room still retains the hardware keys so the hardware keys are fully functional you can get the navigation gestures as seen on the pixel 2 but you will need to install a separate custom launcher so okay so in terms of stability i would rate this rom about 8 out of 10 because you would notice quite a bit of occasional app crashes but still i guess this is some wonderful work from our developers at xta and uh, for me this has definitely been a daily driver material so this was a quick video on how to install android pi on the oneplus 3 or 3d make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already because we'll be uploading interesting tech little videos every week like this one and do check out our website www.tqnet so till then this has been nirupam from tqnet signing off